I always believed that anyone can learn OS X and switch to Mac in less than 20 minutes. So let's see if that is true. If you're switching from Windows, instead of control, you have to use command. Knowing this one simple thing, you can easily switch from Windows to Mac. Let's say you wanted to copy something inside Windows. You used control C. It's the same thing only with command. In here you use command C. And looking at Firefox and Finder's file menu side to side, you can see that new window in Firefox is control N, in here it's command N. Open is control O, in here it's command O. Or closing it's control W, in here is command W. It's almost the same thing, only with command key. And there's a great logic behind every single one of these shortcuts. Let's say you wanted a new Finder window. It starts with N, so the shortcut will be Command N. And the same is true for many other shortcuts, like Get Info, Command I, or Select All, Command A. It's very easy and very simple to learn and to memorize. All of these shortcuts are here in the Finder menu. And if you hold down Alt or Shift or Control key, extra commands would appear like this. If I'm here in Edit menu, if I hold down the Alt key, it will show that Alt, Command, and V will turn Paste into Move. Well, you might say, how do I know which one's Shift, which one's Alt, which one's Control? Because it seems a little confusing. Command looks like someone commanding something. Or it might look like an infinity sign. Option or Alt looks like someone's face who is looking for another option or an alternative option. Shift looks like changing something or shifting something, just like when it changes small a to a capital A. And control looks like a remote control being pointed to a TV set or something like that. And if you couldn't find what you're looking for, you can ask for help from right above. Well, it's right in here and if I type in move, it will show me where the moves are and, well, it's right in here, and it's Alt-Command-V. This works in every application. If I'm in Final Cut Pro and if I type in, let's say, Trim, it will show me the Trim items in all of those menus. Many people want to know, where are these files and folders under hard drive? Well, you can come to View, Show Path Bar, and this is it. So this folder is in Mac HD, Users, Amir, Desktop, and here it is. If you don't want to see this, you can come to here and hide path bar. There are five very useful shortcuts inside OS X. Command, Shift, and N creates a new folder. To rename this folder, I have to use Enter or Return on the keyboard. Okay, now I'm going to call this Test. And if I want to send this to Trash, I need to use Command, Delete or command backspace. And if I want to empty the trash, I can hit this or use this one, empty trash. And the shortcut for it is command shift delete. And if you wanted to create a new folder from your selection, let's say I'm going to select these three pictures, I can create a folder immediately by command control n or new folder with selection. The easiest way to take a quick look at your files is to use quick look. The shortcut for it is spacebar and if you hit space it will open it up and if you hit space again it will close the quick look. If you Select a PDF file, it will show you the pages of the PDF. If it's a presentation, it will show you the pages of presentation. And if it's a text, it will preview the text for you. So you can see the contents of your files without opening any application. And if you select everything and hit the spacebar, or use this icon, and then click on this, it will show you the thumbnails of everything that you've selected. And you can use the left and right arrows for the next and previous file. Now, if you hold down the Alt key and hit the spacebar, it will show you everything in full screen mode. Again, you can use left and right arrows. And you can see your movies. 
or have access to the pages of your PDF files. Everything works in the same way. If you wanted to go back, you just simply hit close or use the escape on the keyboard. If you wanted to change the view of a folder, you can use these icons. Or command 1, 2, 3, and 4. And they are here in the view menu. If you're in this mode, you can easily sort your files based on their size, kind, name, or something else that you might add by right-clicking in here and adding it. I will change the size of my icons to something like this, and I will place them like this. Now I want to clean this up. I can easily right-click and say clean up, or go to view, clean up by name, kind, size, or label, or date modify. So if I change the size of my folder to something like this, I can use this shortcut, clean up by name, command alt 1, and it will clean these files like this. Now there's one other thing in here which is really cool, and that is arrange by. Now if I arrange these files by kind, it will put them in these categories like images, and you can scroll to the left or right, and, the, and you can change the size of the thumbnails. And if I scroll down, you can see that it shows me my documents, presentations, movies, music, PDFs, and whatnot. I can arrange them based on their size. They will be shown based on their size in here. And if I don't want to arrange them, I can simply come into here and say none, or use the shortcut command Control zero. If I wanted to put these photos inside different folders or these movies, I can simply come to here, arrange by kind, select all of my images, control command N, photos, and my movies as well, control command N, and movies. So now I can go back, none, and I can easily do this. Now there might be many times that you need more space. You might not want to see this toolbar, this sidebar, or this duck. So to hide them, you can use Command, Alt, and the beginning of their names. So T for toolbar, Command, Alt, T, S for sidebar, Command, Alt, S, and D for duck, Command, Alt, D. And they are right in here. Hide toolbar, hide sidebar, and the duck is in here, hiding on or off. There are two icons in here, get info and move to trash, that are not there by default. If you wanted to add them, you can come to view, customize toolbar, or right click in here and customize toolbar. And let's say I'll add new folder and eject to here. If I don't want any of them, I can drag them out, or I can command drag them out. You can add folders to your toolbar as well. Let's say you're working on a project and you need to have access to that folder all the time, you can simply drag it to here. Or if you don't want to, you can just command drag it out and it will be gone. The same is true for sidebar. If I drag this folder to my sidebar, it will be shown in here and it has the advantage of being shown in the open and save dialog box. So if I open QuickTime, file, open file, I can have access to this folder very easily from here if I wanted to open, save, or export something. And if you wanted to remove this from your sidebar, you can right click, remove from sidebar, or command drag, and it will be gone. To add this folder to duck, I can drag it to here, like this, or to remove it, I can simply drag it out. To navigate inside OSX, if you're in this mode, you can use up, down, or left and right arrows. To open any file or folder, you can double click on it, or command down, or command O. And to go up, you can use command and the up arrow key. And up again, and we're here, again, command down, command down and command down command up command up and you're here to go back you can use 
the command and the left bracket and to go forward you can use command and right bracket to close a file or folder you can simply click on this or command W and to minimize any file or folder you can use this icon or command M for minimize and if you go to window menu this icon shows that this folder is minimized or again this picture is minimized to cycle between open documents or windows you can use command tilde command tilde to cycle between these and to cycle between open applications you can use command tab so command tab quicktime command tab preview and command tab finder to close all windows i can use command alt w and to close all documents again command alt w so that's all about navigation inside osx